Okay, now let's continue. This is video number three for the topic chemical bonding. Okay, now let's have an example. Okay, the example that we will use is the formation of sodium ion. So sodium atom has a valence electron of one. To become stable, okay, sodium is a metal, so it, it tends to lose electron para maging stable. Okay? So, in this atom, uh, in this uh, part, okay, so sodium, sodium's proton is 11 and electron is 11. So, if we subtract the protons and electron, the difference is zero. Now, if sodium atom loses one electron, the number of protons is still the same, 11, pero nabawasan ng isang electron. So, 11 minus 10 equals 1. So, the difference is 1. So, what is the sign of sodium ion? Positive 1. And remember, sodium can be located in family number 1. So, it's positive number 1. Now, in terms of magnesium ion naman, since magnesium ion has a valence electron of 2, so if we look for the number of protons and number of electrons, both protons and electrons has 12 in terms of value. So 12 minus 12 is 0. No? Pero to become stable, magnesium requires to lose 2 electrons para maging stable. So, since minus 2 ang electrons niya, magiging 10 na lang ang number of electrons niya. So, 12 minus 10, 2. So, the charge of magnesium is positive 2. And remember, magnesium can be found in family number 2. Okay? So, some typical ions with positive charges. Okay, if the ion is positive, the term that we use is cations. Cations. So, in group number 1, we have hydrogen, lithium, sodium, and potassium. Group number 2, we have magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium. And we have the group number 3, yung bandang um, next sa transitional metal is aluminum, positive 3. Now, let's have a learning check. Number of valence electrons in aluminum. Is it 1 electron, 2 electrons, or 3 electrons? Yeah, let's check. How about letter B? Change in electrons for octet. Does it does lose 3 electrons, gain 3 electrons, or gain 5 electrons? What is the ionic charge of aluminum? Is it negative 3, negative 5, or positive 3? So the answers are... Yan. So, the number of valence electrons in aluminum is 3. So, the change in electrons for octet to become stable, kailangan mag-lose ng 3 electrons para maging stable ang aluminum. And what is the charge of aluminum now? Positive 3. Okay, another learning check. Give the ionic charge for each of the following. 12 protons and 10 electrons. Sige nga. So, it's positive 2. How about 50 electrons and 46 electrons? I'm sorry, 50 protons, 46 electrons. Positive 4. We have 15 protons, 18 electrons. Positive 3. So, ions from non-metal ions. So, in ionic compounds, non-metals is located in family number 15 or family number 5, family number 16 or family number 6, and family number 17 or family number 7. They gain electrons from metals. So, di ba, metals loses electron. Those electrons is being used ng mga non-metal. So, kaya nagkakaroon ng bonding. So, non-metal add electrons to achieve the octet arrangement. Metals loses electron to become stable while non-metal gain electrons to become stable. So, the non-metal ionic charge can be negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. We will continue in video number 4.